Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you to this Sunday bread. I'm going to talk about a very important subject. My name is Pastor Oshinamandishi. Now, I want to take you to the book of Isaiah chapter 14. Uh, there's a scripture that I want to use as a basis of uh, um, uh, speaking to us today. And I want you to follow me very well. Um, the subject of this teaching is uh, the sin of the heart and mind. And I gave a subtitle on the top to say the dangerous sin of heart and mind. And I want you to understand that sin is sin, but how sin uh, originated uh, by the devil. But still, he is also going to give us a clue why God um, was, was, was angry with Lucifer, who is the devil. His sin, according to the scripture that I'm going to read, you are going to see that his sin was not an act per se, as we think. You are going to see that it was something that was still in the heart. Because the Bible says in, in Isaiah chapter 14, uh, verse 13, For you said, let me start from verse 12 rather, you, how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how you are cut down to ground, you who weakened the nation. Remember, this was a prophetic word that was written addressing a certain king, but here we can also see that it was a two-tire scripture prophetic referring to what the devil also did, how God um, uh, cast him uh, out of heaven. So this is where we want to focus here. The, in verse 18, the Bible says, For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Now also sit on the mount of, of the congregation on the further side uh, um, of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High God. And yet you shall be brought down to Sheol. So this is a scripture that I'm giving you so that you can understand what the Bible says. Before we think about how the devil acted, influenced one third of the angels, the Bible says, he said, for you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. So the, the, the sin of the devil was not the sin of the action per se, according to the scripture. It was the sin of the heart. The devil thought in his heart, he crafted in his heart. God was angry, was not happy because it was the sin of the heart. It was the sin of the mind. So it's very important for us to understand why we must guard against what we think. Uh, the Bible says if we go to uh, Psalms 19, let me, if we read, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So the scripture is telling us here, this was a Psalms that was written by David when he was referring and say, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. He understood that whatever I meditate, whatever I think, the word meditation here, I want us to put it in the context of how I'm teaching. Uh, so whatever you meditate, before you do anything, God will be seen. So sin starts from the mind, sin starts from the heart. Christians have heard that in thinking about sin is not sin um, as long as you have not acted. But here I'm showing you that if you want to deal with uh, sin, uh, you have to do it first in your heart. Don't even allow it to be in your mind or in your heart. Uh, as much as people will not... It's, a, it's unavoidable. It's impossible. Yes, we understand as human, but we are teaching each other to discipline ourselves so that the devil cannot take advantage of us. That's why the Bible says that um, our weapons um, are not canon. You know, that they to put down strong words. I'm just quoting this scripture in passing. I'll screen that verse so that you can read. But the way I want to emphasize is that it will to destroy strong words. And these strong words are not strong words that we think are demonic strong words. Strong words of minds. So this is what the Bible tells us. Even the sin of not believing is not like a person who says, I don't go to church, I don't, I don't say, I, am not, I have nothing to do with God. The Bible says in Psalms 14, 
the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So we are seeing that the sin of not worshiping God, the sin of committing sin, is start from the heart. As the devil even said, um, I will ascend. I will do this. I will be like the most uh, high God. So it is a sin of the heart and mind. So how can we deal with the, the sin of the mind and the heart? But before I get uh, into that, I just want to uh, quote this scripture. If a person, a man, uh, looks uh, lustfully uh, to a woman, he has already committed that adultery with her, which means it's something that is of the mind and the heart. Where people say, I did not commit in the sense of the act. Our Lord Jesus Christ was saying, you have already committed that sin. So I want us to say that the sin of the heart and the mind is something that we need to deal with. Many uh, people, they struggle with sin uh, as we God will be processing us, moving us to perfection, uh, although we are saved. But uh, here is something that God was just uh, revealing uh, to me that uh, we need to seriously um, look into this issue so that we don't justify some of the sins that we, we do and say, um, I never thought about it. No, you, it's something that you've been meditating because the Lucifer was crafting in his mind. So God saw the mind before he even acted. Then it made God angry. And we, we all know what happened according to the scripture. Now, according to what I'm getting with this revelation of scripture, it was when God was angry with the Lucifer and he cast him from heaven. Then the devil managed to influence one third of the angels but it was the sin of the heart he had not yet even managed to do that uh, as an act but it was something that was in his heart when that happened he said guys you know that uh, you were following me uh, those who think uh, who are able to follow my vision and he rebelled against God with one third of, of, of the angels um, already he was already cast um, away from heaven so i want us to read from the book of romans chapter 12 the bible says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your bodies a living sacrifice all acceptable to god which is a reasonable service now the bible said do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by renewing of your mind so already if our mind is not renewed even if you are a born again Christian, you will give a room to the devil to have access and to bring bad thoughts, meditating on sin. The Bible, according to what we are reading here, it's already seen. Some cannot agree with me. Yes, as people say, it's impossible. But here we are teaching each other so that we can discipline ourselves, so that we can be able to live according to the word of God. We can be able to please God by living um, our life as a living sacrifice uh, before God. Yes, we can please God by disciplining ourselves and to conform ourselves uh, to the patterns of the word of God and submit our mind and also train our mind and our heart not to meditate, to do evil. Let us be like David who said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable uh, in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. You can only be able to do that because you will be having pure heart and pure conscience before God of not sinning through heart and mind. So this is the message, this is the teaching that I thought I have to uh, um, bring it to you encourage you so that you can please God. God bless you as we strive to live right according to the word of God. Shalom.